Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are happy to be here this evening, shout Jesus. Let's begin to appreciate him for bringing us together. Appreciate him. Close your eyes. Thank him for him allowing us to gather here today. Begin to appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Kings. Appreciate your Creator. Father, we love you, we appreciate you, we give you praise, we give you glory. We are happy to be here this evening. Jesus, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Father, we bless you, Lord. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Jesus, we worship you, Lord. I'm not here, you pray to the King of Kings. Tell the Lord to open your eyes today. Tell Jesus to show you mercy. Tell the Lord that Lord today I want you to show me mercy. Open my eyes to the errors I'm doing I'm not aware of. Jesus make me to learn from your word today. Father we welcome you Lord Jesus. Come and teach us your word. We bless you, we give you praise, we give you glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please let lift up our hands as we sing this song to the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has trouble my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you. I roll. Jesus, 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 let's sing to the Father, Father, oh Father, Father. the spirit spirit holy spirit 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 oh let's sing to jesus call the name the devil fear i say jesus jesus So sweet, the name Jesus. The name Jesus. Oh, the Son of God. The Son of God. Oh, who died on the cross? Who died on the cross? I say. Said and fear. Oh, the name Jesus. The name Jesus. Oh, the Son of God. The Son of God. Yeah, who died on the 
cross. Who died on I the said, There is a nail which is fair. Just in a second, tell him how much you appreciate him. Thank him for his goodness and his mercy. Father, we worship you, Lord. God, we give you praise. We exalt your holy name. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Father, we bless you. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Everlasting Father, we thank you. For bringing us to this part of the earth. To bring the true gospel to your children. Father you said in your word. The truth has set us free. I pray today. That the word of truth. Will set many free here today. They will turn from darkness to light. Many names will be written in the book of life. Many will repent and accept you as their Lord and Savior. Jesus, we welcome you, God. You say wherever two or three are gathered, you will be in our midst. Father, I know you are already here. I am praying for your presence, oh God. I know you are already here. I am praying for your power, oh God. I am praying for your presence, oh God. I am praying for your authority. I am praying for your power, oh God. I am praying for your authority. 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 I am praying Satanic powers, principalities and powers. I command in the name of Jesus. I subdue them under your feet now. And I bind them out of this place. I cast them out by the power in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, let your power take over. I cover this place with the blood of Jesus. I soak everybody's heart in the blood of Jesus. Every destruction of the devil. That we want to hinder you not to believe the word of God. That we want to make you not to believe. I bind those powers. By the power in the name of Jesus. Lord you said in your word. We overcome the devil by the 
I spread the blood of Jesus everywhere. I cover everywhere with the blood of Jesus. I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. Father, I pray, let heaven open over this place. I pray for your presence, O God. Moses said, if you don't go with us, we will not go. Because we know with you all things are possible. Father, without you here, O God, your children will not hear. Your children will not believe the mystery oh, of revelation. I pray for your presence to speak to them. Holy Spirit, take over my mouth. Let your voice be here here. Holy Ghost, touch their hearts. Cause them to believe. Take away every undoubted spirit from them. Every unbelieving heart. Today they will believe. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We exalt you forever. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. I better not have Jesus. Put your hands together as you take your bidding. Come for no Jesus. I can't keep it. We're not checking my bureau. Take your seats in Jesus, Jesus name. name. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I can let you know in the name of Jesus. I'm happy to be here. This is my first time being here. I cannot even call the name of the place. Can you call it, sir? Orodo. Orodo. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> Jesus, Aka. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am here to share with you my revelation. My encounter with Jesus Christ. Oh, to see where's the Jesus? The encounter that changed my life, that transformed me. All what I'm going to share here, which you only brief, not all, because my testimony is very wide. But I want you to listen to it. And thank God that you are still alive. For you to hear this mystery and make a way out of hell. All what I'm going to share here with you. Please believe it. Believe what I'm going to share with you. I've been sharing this message more than 11 years, 12 years now. Now, 12 years. And I'm still reminding everything. I can recall everything I'm going to say here to you. To tell you that it happened to me. It is not something that happened to another person. It happened to me. That's why I cannot forget it. Amen. Amen. God sent me to you. To open your eyes. To turn you from darkness to light. The wall is covered with darkness. The truth has been hidden. Many people don't know this truth. Many have died and going to know the truth in hell. But they were not opportune to come back to reveal it to the world. I want to thank God for Jesus Christ what he did in my life. Because I should have been dead for 11 years now. But what God did in my life is a mystery. It's a mystery. What he showed me is just the love of God to humanity. Jesus is doing all to save you and I. God is revealing after death what is happening there. This is something you and I don't know about. When somebody dies, we believe that oh, this person has gone to heaven. Because he or she is a Christian. But I want to tell you today there are many people that have died. Pastor, preachers, evangelists, senior Christians, many, many of them have missed heaven. Because there are many things we are not will. The thing I'm going to share here today only few people 
Oh, the news eight, know about it. Bundi mara bajere ya. Because many denominations in the world today. Oh, to turn this are not bothered about it. Oh, they have to handle the bajere. So today I topic my revelation. I am the evangelist of Tata. And I title it. As noble. Know the true Christianity and be saved. Mara ezio kubere nke Christ man we enzo pota. Know the true Christianity and be saved. Mara ezio kubere nke Christ man we enzo pota. In our time today. Na oge di kan kanya ta. Many are doing their own Christianity. Oh, to turn the name, name, onion, get Christ in Kaka. Practicing their own faith. Hana, name, he ha konyere. The way they like. Oh, to have spiritual. The way it comforts them. Oh, to have their hand manobi. The way it pleases them. Oh, to have their hand fe. In their own sinful ways. Now, ordinary hand is here being the way they understand it. Or the way they taught them. Or to have children, oh God. Some of them. Oh, for the name. God didn't call them. She ne kapo ge ha. They call themselves. Kapo ro we ha. And they interpret the Bible the way they understand. So because of this, Christianity have lost the value. The standard, the precepts, the gold, the aim, the purpose of Christianity is to show us the way to heaven. To teach us the doctrine of Christ. But today, we have two types of Christianity. And Bible said it. And these two type of Christianity. Today, one is the Broadway Christianity. The other is the narrow way Christianity. This tells us two ways. It tells us about two ways. Two lives. And two endings. The way to heaven. The way to hell. The right. And the wrong way. The good. And the bad. So today. You will know. Where do you belong to. If you die now. Or Christ come now. Are you on the broad way. Or you on the narrow way. So listen to what I'm going to share with you. The Bible says. Iron sharpen it iron. You will learn, you will learn from my experience. And examine your own Christian life. If you see your Christianity is like my own those days. Then you know. Where you belong. Because the Christianity I was living before. The Christianity life I was living before. It was the Broadway Christianity. And it leads me to hellfire. So all what I'm going to say here today. It's for your good. It's for your good. I am here today. To let you know. Why many. Are in the Broadway. Matthew chapter 7. See what the Lord Jesus said there. Matthew chapter 7. Please don't allow anybody to distract you. Salvation is personal. Nobody know when you when anybody will die. You don't know when you will die. Maybe this is the last time you will hear a message like this for you to make your life straight. Jesus can come this night. Jesus, you can die this night. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 14. Matthew isi asa ayiri okun kiri na atogbe na kiri na no. Ana ma gopota. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Ba si te no no za ho de warawara. For wide is the gate. Ni na o sarambara bo za ho. And broad is the way. O boru za ho de kwa ho mara. That leadeth to destruction. Ke ne du banan bibi. And many there be which go in their in. Ha de ko to su bunde na ba ni ya. Take note of that word. The broad way that leads to death to destruction. Many. Many. God did not say few. He didn't say some. He said many. That simply means there are lots that are going through that, that place. Verse 14. 
Because straight is the gate. And narrow is the way. Which leaded unto life. And few. There be. That find it. Take note of that word again. Few. Few. He didn't say many. But when he talk about Broadway, he say many. When it comes to going to heaven, he said few. Not even some. Not quarter. He said few. That out of hundred, maybe only ten. Few. Many are called. Few are chosen. Many are called. Few are chosen. Today, try to be among the few. Don't be deceived by the many you are saying. The activities of many. Don't be deceived by pointing at other people and say, will you want to say God will destroy all these people? My brother, my sister, the Bible says, few, 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 that is what the Bible says. It, it is not Sister Linda. It is the Bible that says, only few will pass through that narrow door, that narrow way, and it's true. Many are calling on the name of the Lord, but they are far away. The word of God says, this one collects me with their mouth, but their heart is far away from me. Today Ta. is Sunday. If you have taken a walk around Imo State or any place in the world, you hear people calling Jesus in the classroom everywhere. Even there are some people that will be in the forest. Their, their church is there. Some are underground. They are praying everywhere in the whole world. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But Jesus. that day, many will not make it to heaven. Why? I will tell you the reason. I will tell you the reason. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved. Study to show yourself. God is expecting our preachers to study to save souls. But I want to tell you the problem of Christianity today so, is coming from the preachers, the reverends, the bishop, the, bishop, the pastors, the, the evangelists, the prophets, the pope. Call them any time. They are the one that have split Christianity. They have made Christianity to be like two-faced. Different doctrines. And the Bible has made us to know if you are fall short of one, you are guilty of all. If you are in the church where they don't give you the complete doctrine of God, maybe they give you 70%. You will not pass the exam for heaven. Maybe they will give you 20%. You will not make it to heaven. Maybe 99%. You will not make it to heaven. It should be complete. Teaching them to observe all things. Jesus, said, Jesus did not say teaching them to observe some of the things I said. He said all things whatsoever I have commanded you. But to Today, there are some pastors that didn't study to show themselves to save souls. They are teaching what they know. No time to read it. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 to the end of 26 you, you can see there. You need to study. You need to know this word of God. If you don't know this word of God if you are not in the church where they teach you the true word of God, you are lost. You are lost. Learn from my experience. It all started 
2013. Now, after 2013, before I have my encounter, I lost my parent. I have two siblings. When my parent died, I was young. So we enter into early stage of responsibility. But there is one thing I always know that Christ is the only way that will help me in, in the situation I am in the world. So I was zealous in the house of God. Singing in the house of God. Praying in the house of God. I was so obedient to the word of God. The word of God, my pastor was teaching me. My pastor was my Bible. Whatever my pastor says, that is what I will do. If my pastor said this, I will follow. One day, my younger sister came across a holiness church and they taught her the word of God. God. When she came home, she started crying. And she was saying, We are lost. And I was asking her, What do you mean? She said, All the Christianity we have been practicing, we are going to hell. That was my first time of hearing hell. Because my church I was attending, my pastor said, Hellfire message. It's scaring. We should not scare the people. That Jesus has paid the price for us. We are free. We are not under the law. We are not under bondage. So, all you need, just believe in Jesus, you are going to heaven. So nothing hellfire is preached in our church. So when my sister was talking about hellfire, I said, hellfire. So she started telling us things that we should not do as Christians. She said we should not smoke. We should not have boyfriends. We should not do clubbing. We should not dress naked. We should not lie. We should not steal. All what she was saying, I was the chief of all. Because I was deep in sin. I love the activity of sin. So when she was saying those things, it was a pain to my body. How can I leave my boyfriend? Who pay my school fees? That time my parents have died. Who pay my rent? What will I do with my life? If I don't adorn myself, if I don't dress sexy, who will me and say I am attracted to this lady? Nobody will be attracted to me. Think that what are you saying? This is a false doctrine. It's a doctrine that your pastor is making you to be suffering. And I started quoting the script, the, 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 the voice or the way my pastor used to preach in the church. We serve a rich God. We are not, we are not poor. We are not poor. People should know we serve a living God. How will your pastor say I should dress as if I'm, I'm mourning? So I disbelieve. She started crying. This thing continued for years. She will be quoting scriptures. That is one of the things that was making me to fear her. So one day, I went to my pastor because I believe my pastor. All the time he said, the Lord said, so I believe God is speaking to me. So I went to him. I said, Daddy, my younger sister, she came across a denomination. They told her that the way I'm dressing because my my problem was dressing. I knew that time, and I know it was true, that smoking was seen, 
Drunkenness was seen. Fornication was seen. But I don't know how to come out of them. Gossip, anger, I knew these things were sinful. But how to be set free of this spirit? How to be delivered from anger? I really know because no teaching like that in the church. Our own is prosperity. Your enemy must die. This is your ear. But the one I was doubting it's when my sister was telling me about adornment. About dressing. I say no. My pastor said, God look at the heart, not the garment. You'll be cutting, you will be talking about David, you will be talking about other people pastors or other um, 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 prophets and leaders in the Bible that God look at their hearts, not their garments. But when Finda started bringing out scriptures, I was a little bit afraid because I love Jesus. I truly love him. I was serving him with all my heart. We we'll do all night in the church. Pastor house. I will sell, sell some of my things to go and sow seed in the church. We will dance on that rain, on that sun to give flyers, to publicize our church. Publicity. I was too zealous in the house of God. Then with all this thing I'm doing, my sister is telling me I'm out of the way. So I was really disturbed. So when I went to my pastor, and I told him, my sister is condemning me. He said, God said we should not put jewelry on our body. Because I was deep in fashion. I love fashion. I believe I believe I should, because my pastor said this is the temple of God to dress the temple. Uh, With my little money I have, I will make sure that I dress. I was carrying six earrings on my ears. Amen. Amen. I was carrying six earrings on my ear, oh, piercing. You, see, the you know the way they used to pierce, pierce. Hey, man, I was carrying beads on my on my waist. Hey, I, 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 Chain on my ankle. Falls almost all the time. Eyelash. To the point that my natural eyebrow was removing because of the glue. Tattoos on my body. Artificial adornment on my hair. Attachment. I didn't believe I was naturally beautiful. I thought without makeup, I'm not presentable before anybody. I thought without putting all these gold, gold, silver beads, I'm not looking good if I go out. So when I was asking my pastor, my sister said, this is where I'm dressing. God is not happy with me. She said, God will judge me. Daddy, is it true? He look at me and say, who has bewitched you? It is a lie. Ah, see. And then he opened the Bible and read the scripture that says, the bo our body is a temple of God. And we should dress the temple. And then he, he said to me, Am I the one that wrote it? Is he, is he my handwriting? I say, No, daddy. Is he not no Bible? God said, I say, You should dress your temple. And then he said to me, my daughter, Adam, 
If I know these things is sinful, my wife will not have been putting it on. Do you think I love you more than my wife? If I want anybody to be in heaven first, it's my wife. It's my family. This thing that the pastors are telling your sister is in the Old Testament. We are now under grace. We are in the New Testament. All things have passed away. So don't listen to them. Nothing is wrong by decorating yourself. What God wants is your heart. Render your heart. Come to church. church. Support the things of God. Make sure that they know you are in the church. Believe in Jesus. That's all what you need. Heaven is for you. I was very happy. Because he didn't condemn any sin in my life. He told me to come to church. I should be paying my tithe to support the house of God. I should be living in Jesus. That is all I need as Christian. And then he brought out a bottle of anointing oil. And then he said, I should kneel down. Let him anoint me so that I will not be brainwashed. So he poured the anointing oil on my head. And pray for me. And bind all the spirits of brainwashing. And he told me, when you go, don't listen to your sister again. They want to put you in bondage. Have you been married? I say no, daddy. He said, I have. Follow them. You start looking like a grandmother. Who marry you? So I was happy. He said, I should go back. So when I got home, I told my younger sister, I am not part of your church. I am not your member. All I know that heaven will be there. Never you condemn my dressing again. I don't believe in those doctrines. God only look at the heart, not the outward. My sister cried that day. I was hearing her in a room. God help me. Jesus save my Jesus. sister. God if you save my sister. Jesus. I will serve you all the days of my life. Jesus save my sister. The way she was crying. I was like is it because of I said I don't want to be in your church. So I left the house. I went to friends. Enjoyment continued. Parties. Like carnival. Seductive dressing. Dating men up and down. Until one day, I went for a burial. After the burial, during the burial, a, a boy, a man around our area died. And we knew ourselves. We are area boys and girls. He's a drunk, he's a womanizer. Sometimes Saturday, we'll sit outside, we'll be gisting, talking. So one time he was over drinking, they say it affected his kidney. And then he died. So I went for the burial. As the pastor was preaching, and was telling us that Christian, his name is Christian. Ah, I have a Christian. Christian has made it to heaven. Ah, now Christian He's lying in the bosom of Christ. No, 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 be Christ. He used to come to church. No, no, be a church. He's among the young adults. No, 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 Some of you, 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 youth, you don't see. come to church. Oh, no, 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 church. When you die, who will bury you? Oh, no, 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 no. So I was like, ah, ah. No, I see. Is it not the same pastors that will be used to say drunkards will go to hell? These boys die as a drunkard. And today they are saying he's in the bosom of Christ. I relax very well. Well, well, copper. Because me too, I was part of those drunkards drinking all this tar beer, all this kind of thing, whiskey. 
So I was like, ah, so, so Christianity is only to go to church, pay tithe, sing, and believe in Jesus. How you live your life, God, it doesn't matter to God. So I tapped my younger sister. I said, do you hear your own church that like condemning, condemning people? She now told me, both you and the pastor preaching, you are lost. Then I told her it's only your own church that you people are the way. You will be surprised to see us in heaven more than you people. Okay, June and you but you know Gawa in Elibe. So as I was, the message was going on. A mighty voice spoke to me. You are next to die. I had it very clear. Oh, oh, I got a then I kept quiet. The voice came again. Immediately, my body composition started changing. I was not myself. So that was on the 14th. I went out to get life. Tried to play along. But I was not on myself. So when I got home, this voice kept disturbing me. I tried to wave it away. I told Finda, Finda? but they were not believing me per se. So I went to bed. As I was sleeping, struck in the morning of 15th February. What woke me up, I didn't know. As soon as my eye opened, I felt a strange pain. I noticed I was not breathing well. It's like my breath has been seizing. But that, it didn't happen to me when I went to bed. So I will have to take a deep breath before I will breathe very well. I notice my breath is going down. I will like, like this. I say, what is wrong with me? Then I call my younger sister. Finda. Finda. She rushed into my room. He said, what happened? I said, pray for me. I'm not breathing well. I don't know what happened. I'm choking. I'm dying. Pray for me. I'm dying. What happened to you? I said, I don't know. Pray for me. Pray for me. Then she said, oh, where is okay, he? leave the room. Let's go to the parlor. So I throw my leg from the bed. I try to stand up. To walk and follow her to the sitting room. I fell down. I cannot walk again. I noticed my, my feet were lifeless. I was not feeling anything on my leg. Immediately my body began to feel as if I'm feeling bad. Some kind of foamy saliva was coming out of my mouth. Then Finda say, Finda ah, ah, Finda, what happened? Finda, what is going on? I say, pray for me, I'm dying. I, cannot I don't know how my body is. is ah, the way my body is doing me. Something is going wrong inside my body. So she started praying. Others that were in the house, oh, well, she called call them. Oh, well, well, huh? I said, please, they should come. Because, because, yeah. Something is going wrong with Linda. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, no, that. They, they rushed call. into my room. Ah, well, baba, tell them dinner. They started asking. Ah, my little, nah, Linda, what happened? Linda, okay, what did you eat? Okay, here, what is happening to okay, you? I was telling them, I don't have any answer for that. Just pray for me. I'm not feeling fine. They started praying. Ah, little, but but all of them that were standing there, ah, they are sinners like me. My younger brother have a dreadlocks on his head. My friend was standing there. We are sinners together. Only Finda that was speaking in tongues, binding and was praying. The thing, the thing overpower me. Then Finda noticed I was not speaking loudly again. Then Finda said, 
Let them bring me to the parlor. They carry me like a baby. Me that was healthy. I was talking. I was walking. It reached to a point. I cannot walk again. I was crawling. My voice reduced. When you are healthy now, give your life to Jesus and be sober with Christ. Walk out your salvation now. Don't be deceived with your health. Don't be deceived with your strength. Don't be deceived with your doctor report and say you are okay, your body system is okay. When death will come, some people will sleep and never wake up. Some will stand on the highway and collapse. Some will be eating and fall down. down. Some will be dancing, celebrating and die. Don't play with death. Don't play with salvation. When you know sin is in your life, keep crying and praying and get it out. Don't hide it. Don't play with it. So, yeah. When they bring me to Finda, she look at me. She was crying. She was crying. She bent down her head like this. I was looking at my younger sister. No power in me to speak. My voice has been reduced. And then she said, Linda, Linda, let me lead you to Christ. She says, say, say, Lord Jesus, Jesus, to call Lord Jesus is like Jesus. I'm learning to speak. My tongue was very heavy. My mouth was heavy. She will be shaking me like this. Linda, Linda, say Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Linda, say the prayer after me. I was so weak. I was so weak. I was so weak. In my inner man, I am strong. I can hear. I was seated. But to speak, I cannot. I was only shedding tears. Looking at my younger one. What is happening? happening to me. I cannot help them. We are orphans. And look at me now. Looking at my younger ones. What is going on with me? We were in that battle. That tussle. To receive Christ. I try. I try. All of a sudden. It's like an everything. Press my chest. And these things. Before the Lord took my soul from my body, there are some kind of things I was putting on my body. As I'm going to be talking, media is going to display some of this acti this uh, attire, dressing, lifestyle in the church. If, your, if your daughter is dressing like this, your son is dressing like this, your denomination, they allow a lifestyle is. Your wife is dressing like this. Your pastor, your mama, they are putting on this thing. I want to tell you, I am standing on what Jesus showed me. My own is real encounter. You will not go to heaven because it's not a partial God. To say, to say, oh, Sister Linda, it's your own. Me, I will go to heaven. My dear, don't deceive yourself. Please, media, put just run out these things for me. These are the dressing of the world today. This is how girls dress. This is how they dress to church. This is how I used to dress, short skirt, any hour. I dress, go to church the way I want. The same dressing is fit to enter party, enter night We dress to kill. 
we dress for men to lust after us. This is how pastor's wife addresses children. Pastor children addressing choirs in the church. This is how they dress. This is how Christians all over the world majority addressing. Women wear trousers. Open breast. Open back. Even mothers that have given back to children. Their legs are out. A married woman, all her breasts is out. Women are bobbing their hair. Wearing short clothes. Go and sit before the pastor like that. Nothing. Nobody is correcting anybody. This is the dressing of the world. The majority of these ones are Christians. This is how they dress to church. They dress in their house. They dress to occasion. They dress anyhow. You can even see the short skirts in school now. That's why you see teachers are raping children in the school. Children. Christian people that home school, they'll show their uniform, short skirt for the girls. Thing that will make somebody to lust after one. People that you don't expect to own a school, Christian men and women that home a school will be showing short skirts. All these things are seductive dressing. You wear a lace, you see the inner inside. Satan is the one behind this design. Satan is the one bringing these fashions in the world. So that nobody will be set free. Any man that look at this lady's open leg, this that he will be lost in his heart. And that man, be pastor whosoever you have been defiled already. And you, the lady that you are dressing naked, making people to fall. You have you are a chain of darkness already. Unknown to you, you don't know you are you are working for the devil. All this eyelash. Makeup. All this tinting of the hair. Babi hair. I did all. Men babbing their hair, plating their hair. Women babbing their hair. You can see the drawing on her hair. You see the way the boys are babbing their hair today. And they are the one playing keyboard in the church. You see the way women are decorating their hair. Putting wool, putting a large attachment. When you look at yourself, you say, wow, I'm colorful, I'm looking good. God is angry with you. Painting your face. Painting your face. These things I'm showing you. These things God is angry with them. All this painting of face. Some of you believe that without makeup you are not beautiful. Satan has deceived you. And say your face is not smooth. Your nose is not straight. Even to little children. Children. Parents are decorating them. We are in the end time. You can see the thing that God hates is what people are doing. Pastors are allowing it in the church. In fact, me, my former pastor will be telling me, I like the way you paint. The wife will come to me and say, Ah, Linda, how do you used to do your eyebrow? I like the way you do this. You do. They admire my, my painting. All this ungodly wedding dress. Jesus is angry. Jesus is in the church. If you are in a church, this kind of thing is happening. God is not there, my dear. Don't deceive yourself. I will tell you, I came out from a church. These are the bright smell of the world now. Lusting is everywhere in the church. That's why married people 
married men cannot be faithful to their wife. They yeah, have plenty man. girls they are sleeping with pastors. How can the pastor be seen naked all the time? He will not be pulled to it. Satan has designed the world. How you and I will be falling every day. For we to be committing sin always. What is in the mind of women now when they go to church is for somebody to lust after them, look at them, I want to show my shape, not to go to God and say, God, I need you. It's competition in the church now. Dressing who have big bumble. Mothers that have grandchildren see their breasts outside. This is the thing that the Lord is rebuking. This is the thing. Yeah, when he throws us up and down. And, and pastors will be defending. The pastor, no, no women wear trousers. See the way the boys are dressing now. And they are Christians in the church. Even some pastors wear tall trousers and be preaching on the pulpit. Don't say I am condemning. I am telling you what I was doing. These are dressings I put on. Shape trouser that will show my private part very big like that. My bumble will produce out like this. We will tell the tailor to make it tight for us. And we'll go with it in the church, climb the altar. And nobody will rebuke us. No pastor will rebuke us. In fact, they will be admiring our looks. They will be appreciating us. This are the things I used to do. These are the dressing I used to dress. And then on Sunday I will carry my microphone be singing. Fornication everywhere. Hatred everywhere. From church to the nightclub. Drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes. Things like this. Continuously. Many Christians are doing it. Many human beings are living oh, like that. And they are expecting when they die they will go to heaven. Husband and wife are fighting each other. Pastors is beating the wife. The wife is disrespectful to the husband. And they are calling themselves Christian. Husband is cheating on wife with another woman. The woman is cheating on the husband with another man. Everywhere, children are disobedient to parents. is everywhere. But I want to tell you, salvation is personal. Salvation is personal. So when I was in this experience, G Something pressed my chest. I cannot tell. I just took a deep breath to balance well. That was the end. When I open my eyes, when I open my eyes, when I open my eyes, my soul came out of my body. When my soul came out of my body, I saw myself among crowd of people. Plenty people. Plenty human beings. I met them on a journey. I cannot tell which journey they were in. Where are they going? But I just saw myself among them. How did I get there? I cannot tell. Who directed me there? I cannot tell. All I know, I saw myself in the midst of human beings. And these people were not wearing clothes. 
all of them they were naked. Honey in the water. We were naked. Any water? Like the way they give back to oh, us. To ceremony. Naked we came. I am around you not. Naked we will return. I am not you not. Naked we came. I am around you not. Naked we will return. I am not you not. All the money you are wasting on clothes. Eh, go and eat in a coffee. All the money you are wasting on fashion. Eh, go and eat in a coffee. All the money you are wasting on one thing or the other. Eh, go and eat in a coffee. We will not because. carry anyone. Oh, they can keep getting. Even the clothes. They will put on you in the grave. Yeah. Oh, I it. it will not follow you. Oh, God, so Naked I came. I not Naked I returned. I'm not to not my creator. As we were walking on this journey, no as I was going with these people, Nandia. I was looking. Where is this place? Where is this place? Where is this place? Where is this place? I started feeling heat. The heat was too much. I look up. I thought the sun had descended. But I looked, I noticed. There is no sun. Which place is this? I look around me. I didn't see any fire. What is producing the heat? Where did the heat come from? We keep walking. All of a sudden, I started hearing sound of cry. People crying. I cannot see them. I was looking for them. Where is this sound coming from? Where are they crying from? Multitude of people. The voices will tell you that these are crowd of people. I was disturbed. Oh, I was looking. Ne, 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 ne. Where is this sound coming from? E go, a a very fearful cry. Oh, bo, a, a painful cry. Oh, bo, a, a pitiful cry. A, a I look left. Na, 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 ke, I look right. Na, na, ke, I look up. Na, na, ne, I was looking. Ne, 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 ne. Shouting for the voice. Na, cho, e, be, ulu, looking for them. Ne, 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 ha. I cannot find them. E, mui, miki, but the sound. No, um, you know you are getting to a place where people are crying. E, e, I started fearing what is happening where am I which place is this who are these people nobody welcome me nobody call my name nobody say ah sister how are you nobody say I know you everybody was on their own salvation is personal salvation is personal you that you are saying my mother my father my pastor they are the ones saying you should not be holy. If you die together with them, they will not help you there. As we keep on walking, I started smelling some rotting smell. The heat increased. It's like an acid on my body. Like I am lying on top of a where they, they roast fish. Then I said to myself, No, I can't continue in this journey. I can't continue in this journey. I make up my mind. As now you are sitting down, you can make up your mind. I said, I don't want to listen and get up and go. Your body will comply. Your leg will comply. You will go. God will allow it. But over there, I make up my mind to stop my journey because I was afraid. Which kind of place is this? As I'm walking, the heat increase. What is going on? Nobody is speaking to me. I don't need to continue. So I, I want to stop my journey to go back where we are coming from. Maybe I can know somewhere. As I make up my mind to stop this journey, my leg disagreed. My feet was going with me. But for me, it is not me. I don't want to move. But my body was moving. My body was moving. I started crying. But I noticed, as I'm crying, water was not coming out of my mouth. I was yelling. The heat. The heat. People are complaining, ah, the sun is hot. If hellfire is this, people will be thanking God. The heat. Nothing liquid. 
hell. So I started crying. I was crying. I don't want to continue. I don't want to go. Who brought me here? How did I get here? Somebody should help me. What is happening with me? I look in front of me. This road we are following lead us to one tunnel. The tunnel have a dark mouth, a dark entrance. When you enter inside, you are not seeing. You are not seeing the other the other side to say e, you are going out. When you enter, you know you are entering to a dark place. This is the place we are heading to. We get closer to that place. The heat increased. The heat increased. And then all of a sudden, demons appear. Demons appear. How they got there, I cannot tell. When I look at them, I was afraid. I was shaking. I was shouting. Jesus, help me. Jesus, Somebody help me. Jesus, what is happening to oh, me? me? Where am I? Hey, back, Which place is this? Hey, back, Why am I seeing demons? Oh, can, get in, I don't can belong now. here. Ah. I don't belong here. Somebody should help me. I was frightened. I was afraid. I was looking at them in surprise. I've never seen demon life in my eyes. All we see in movies. Now I'm seeing them live. Looking fearful. Very huge. Looking at them, you know, no human being can bring one of them down. Talking about strength, talking about height, talking about build, bodybuilding, you cannot stand it. You cannot stand it. Don't forget, they are falling angels. They are very big, very huge. They look as if they put bricks on them. Their body is strong. And they have a terrible look. Human being mixed with animal looks. I was afraid. Those that were in front of me, when they get closer there, the way the demon was dragging them into that place, the shouting and the crying, when they will carry them into that place, you that you are seeing, it's like you should kill yourself. You will start feeling the pain. The fear of them will take all over you. Every part of your body will be trembling. Because the, the way they rough and do that soul, it's like when they walk around see a Christian and they want to tear you. When I saw the way they were carrying those ones, the way they were tearing those ones, I was shouting, God help me. God help me. What is happening to me? Somebody should help me. Where am I? Somebody help me. I was afraid. I was shaking. I was shaking. I was shaking. Unprepared soul. I never knew what I'm seeing is the place my pastor did not prepare me for. I went to a hell. I was not told about hell. I mean, they didn't teach me how to escape hell. I was just living my life the way I was. When I didn't know what to do. I didn't see my pastor. I didn't see my pastor. I didn't see my pastor. I 
didn't see my siblings there. Ah, my boyfriend were not ah, there. My girlfriends were not there. Nobody was there to help oh, me. I was there alone. Oh, I was totally left and right. When I to go there, I Looking for escape route. When I to go there, my leg was disagreeing with oh, me. Oh, I don't want to continue. I told him, can't get it wrong. I said, what is wrong with me? Oh, what is happening to me? Oh, Somebody should help me. I never knew. Ah, Maggie, my body is in the hand of my sister. Nah, I don't cut on She was busy way. crying on me. Oh, when they better, 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 they you will be in the coffin. People will be looking at you. You wish them to help you. But they cannot help you. The only person that can help you is Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Only Jesus, Nani Jesus will help you when you die. But you are on earth. Mana. You are not serving him. Ne, ne, you are not obeying him. You are not respecting him. him. You are not following his order. You are so, uh, uh, so disobeying him. He will not help you. Oh, okay, you will be abandoned. Oh, God, when I get closer to one of these demons, Where I was looking like a baby under him. Where they take you? When he bent down his head with his face, Niria. The eye was red. The face was terrible. I can see anger in him. I will see hatred in him. I was shaking. I was shaking. God help me. God help me. What is happening to me? What is this? Linda, what is happening? What is happening to me? I cannot tell you of anything I remember. I cannot tell you what really happened to me. How I got there, I cannot tell. Immediately, I felt a push. Like when you push somebody on the ground. He tripled me down and grabbed me on my leg. I started dragging me. When he was dragging me, I was at my back, dragging me. The way he held my leg, very strong. I cannot shake my leg. He held me by my feet and started dragging me. Gently he's carrying me into the dark tunnel. As he was carrying me, as soon as we enter, as soon as we enter, Darkness everywhere. I cannot even see him. I only know his hand is on my leg. It was a thick darkness. It's like darkness that you are passing through curtains of a curtain. As we keep on going, I notice we were turning. We are descending. My back was going like this. Uh, 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 we are going down. I went about that. Any level we are going down. No, go, 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 go. The heat uh, was increasing. Now, nah, but my body. Arum. As if I'm tearing to this. I noticed I was dehydrated. Na, 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 no water in my mouth. I wish to have saliva. I was panting for air. I wish to drink water. I now understood when the rich man said, Father Abraham, let Lazarus. Where can Lazarus just dip his finger into water? I just want to call my tongue because the heat, the kind of temperature of it, I was suffocating. I've never come across a pain like this. I've never seen a pain like this. I've never imagined a pain like this. Don't go to hell. Jesus said, I should tell you. Jesus, hell is not for you. Don't be deceived by what you are seeing in the world. If they carry you and bury you, I 
as a sinner, you will regret your life. You will regret your life. You will wish to come back. Your family members abandon you in the very ground. You cannot come back. That's why Jesus said, escape hell today. By confessing your sins, forsaking your sins, accept Jesus, be righteous and holy. Stop all the sinful activities. Don't bother if people like you or not. All my friends deserted me. But for me, I didn't bother. Nothing was bothering me. I look at them, I say, I pity you people. You are leaving me because I don't put on jewelry again. You don't call me because I don't go to nightclub again. I See them. Uh, 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 and as we keep on going, the heat, the heat, you cannot describe it. I was saying to myself, what is happening? God, I'm suffering. Which kind of suffering is this? I've never known this kind of suffering. This one is more than prison. It's more than the punishment on earth. It's more than 20 people beating you. Where am I? Where am I? I was asking myself. I just enter into a suffering. Unexpected suffering. I didn't know about. As we keep moving, he released his hand on me. I dropped on top of people. The shifting of the people. Pushing, pushing. I opened my eyes. And then I saw mystery. Where you me? I saw mystery. You are sitting on top of mystery. Underneath your feet. There is mystery going on here. I saw mystery. When I look at it, I say, God, I fear you. We on earth, we only say, it's a mighty God, it's a powerful God. We have not seen his power yet. When I look at the fire, I saw ocean of fire. This is not ocean of sea of water. It was fire. Very wide. Very wide. I can't see the end of it. On earth, no one. Fire is the one boiling water. But I saw the fire boiling on its own. Boiling on its own. Blazing up. It will rise up like this. Like a mountain. Very red. And then it will land. You will see the heat. You will feel the heat. You will see the fire. When you look at the fire, you know this fire is like acid. The redness of the fire, you will know this fire is like hot red. Oil. That anything that enter it will fry it. When I look at the fire, I look at the fire. I say, God, show me this. What am I seeing with my eyes? Which place is this? What is happening to me? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. I was so afraid. I was afraid. God have mercy. God have mercy. And then I look around. I have been surrounded. No way escape route. I cannot find a way to go out. I was going off my senses. I was losing it. And then I saw another mystery. I saw people. Human beings. Bonnie. 
inside this fire they are bold beyond recognition you cannot recognize your loved ones until they call their name for you you cannot say I know this person but to my surprise the way they have been born the way they are Bonnie. These people are still alive. I saw the mystery of God. Somebody born to that degree. Shouting, fire is coming out of him. When you are drowned in the sea, you will be vomiting water. Because you have drunk the water. The people here. No, no, no. Oh, see, they are no, drinking no, the no. fire because the fire is higher than this Me house no. they are under the pit no, no. Oh, the oh, fire oh. is boiling them turning them oh, no. when they will come up like this they are shouting mercy Jesus I say to myself, which place is this? Somebody Eba, should help be, me. Be, 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 Somebody is cooking. Be, 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 the person is burning. Be, 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 Fire is coming out of your mouth. Be, 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 and you are still alive. Be, 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 which kind of punishment be, 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 is this? I started crying. Be, 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 I said, my own is finished. Be, 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 and it is finished. I said, my own is finished. I get here? Father, 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 I cannot look at them. Their suffering was too much. Their suffering was too much. No human being can imagine the kind of suffering that sinners are going through here. Yeah. You cannot imagine the kind of suffering that lion will take you to hell. Gossip will take you to hell. If you see this place called Hell. You will repent. You will cause God and say, God, show me mercy. You will cause God and say, God, come into my life. You will arrest God. You will say, God, show me mercy. God, do me mercy. God, don't allow me to die like this. I am telling you, as I was there, looking at this people, I said to myself, what have I done? How did I get here? God, I don't know this place. How did I get here? I can see suffering inside me. God, God, I cannot stand it. I can't be inside the fire. God, I cannot be body. Jesus, show me mercy. Jesus, show me mercy. Jesus, show me mercy. Jesus, show me mercy. I cannot be in this fire. I cannot be in this fire. Jesus, I don't know what they have done, <laughs> but I don't want to be with them. As I was busy crying, I saw three demons walking to my side. As they were coming to me, I said, My own has finished. My own has finished. What am I going to do? And then when they get close to me, two of them. Hold my hand like this. Them Started dragging me. Where they they dragged me Ha-burum. to a place. And then immediately no, they chained my legs. How chained my hand. Naked as I was. Open me like this. And then one of them came. And stand in front of me. 
and did his hand like this. Linda. Linda. You disobedient child. I said to myself. How did he know by then? What have I done? Who summons me here? Who brought me here? Whose wickedness have I done to any man to bring me here? I did not get here. I was just crying. I was so afraid. With what I was seeing. My own body is like I should die again. I was listening to them. What are they going to say? When he said to me, You disobedient child. Are you not afraid of God? Then I said in my mind, Afraid of God? What did I do to God? I love God. I believe in Jesus. I've given my life to Jesus. I sing in the church. I pay my title. How have I hurt God? No, something is wrong. Maybe there is a mistake. I know I love God. I love the house of God. How will they say disobey God? But I cannot say it. I was so afraid of them. I cannot even dare to talk with them. I was so afraid of them. So I was just thinking about it. Something is wrong somewhere. I love God. I go to church. I'm giving my life to Jesus. I am in the church. God, no. I love you. How did I disobey you? And then he said to me, there are two types of sins you were living on earth. One of it, you believe it was sinful. But you die without Man. repenting of them. Then he said, die. Me dead. Then the thing flashed on me. What I was so in my house. Me, I've left the world. Oh, I can see my sisters again. Me, Linda, I've died. What is happening to me? Where am I? Who saved me? I look at them. I look at my body. Me dead. Me dead. And then the demon said to me, When they were warning you not at, to repent of your sins. You had in your heart. You did not surrender. And you die in your sin. You think your life was in your hand. The one that made you say you should repent. You have come to hell. This is hell. The place where we will torture you. You will regret why you sin against God. You will regret why you sin against God. And then he said to me, there are other sins you are committing. When they tell you, to stop it, you disbelieve. But here, we will make you to believe. Because we will torture you. For all the years you wasted on sin. The thing that keep you busy, give you pleasure on earth. That is the thing, the same way we'll be practicing it on your body here. And then he started judging me. And the judgment, it was this Bible. You that you are wasting your time on other materials. That is not the word of God. Maybe you are busy reading novel. Busy wasting time on movie or Nigerian movie or whatever. You don't know this Bible. Or you are not in the church where they teach you the truth of God. You will cry more than me. Because you, be, Satan will be preaching to you. Things that you your pastor will have told you now he is the one preaching it. And he's preaching it to mock you. Because he will tell you you were having the, the, the is, this is the way to heaven. You play with it. You never know you are a fool. 
And then he said to me, didn't the Bible say you should not mark your body? Did I know? My pastor is not teaching us about pastor marking body. Instead, one of the pastors that make me to put tattoo on my body. It was Pastor Chris Yakilomi, Christ Embassy. When he said that the body, it doesn't matter to go, whatever you put on your body, it doesn't matter that the body don't have anything to do. So you can do anything you want to do on your body. So as I had that, I put tattoo on my body. So now the demon was telling me, didn't the Bible say you should not mark your body? Are you the owner of this body? Are you the one that made this body? The one that make it say don't mark it. You can hear the preaching of demon. Satan was telling me, God that made this body said, don't mark it. Are you not afraid of God? You disobedient. Who told you to mark your body? We will design your body here. And then he come to me again. The Bible says you should not put arm foot in your mouth. You like putting hand foot in your mouth. You like putting hot things in your mouth. Didn't you know that this this mouth was given to you to say good thing to praise God? But you were using your mouth to, to say bad things, to say evil, to cause people to sin. I will torture your mouth here. Why did you use your mouth wrongly? You use your mouth to cause people to fall in sin. And then he said to me, oh, yes. the hair that was on your head before you died, mm -hmm. you see your natural hair? Mm -hmm. How did they call it on earth? I started crying again. I started crying again. He said, how did they call it on earth? He laughed. Oh, and said, false year. Oh, see, mm, tuto, Didn't yeah. the Bible tell you that nothing make it a lie we go to the holy city? Oh, and then he looked at me and said, that is my property. Oh, well, I have defiled many on earth. I have deceived many. And many are coming oh, here. Tuto, many are coming oh, tuto, here. Tuto, that is what God was yeah. telling us in the in Matthew 7. Oh, yeah, we have a that the Broadway many are going there. Satan too is boasting and saying many are coming here. I have deceived many. Many are coming here. I started remembering the, 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 the preaching of my younger sister. That Linda attachment is a sin. All these things are like prostitutes on your body. God is seen like a alert. But my pastor say it doesn't matter. That's why I told you these pastors are the ones that have confused the Christianity today. When somebody will tell you the truth, your pastor will tell you it's a lie. And today, many souls are attached to pastor, whatever pastors they believe. And now to get the true pastors are very few. They are very few. The fake ones are many. So if you, don't, if you don't pray for God to direct you to the true ones, you will damn your soul under pastors. And then the demon said to me, who told you to pierce your body? Didn't the Bible tell you to remove the accosting on your body? He was talking about the dwelling. God told our forefathers to remove these things on their body. 
And Mia was putting it on. Satan was mocking me. Satan was mocking me. He was laughing at me. Because I danced, I wasted all my time in church and then learning her. After he finished with all the judgment he's giving to me, he now look at me and say, you are a murderer. You are a murderer. You are a murderer. I opened my mouth. I was pleading with them. I said, please, I've never kill anybody in my life. Please, all what you people are saying, I've been doing it. Lying, anger, fornication, all these things, yes, I did it. But I've never killed anybody. I am not a murderer. I've never killed. And then they look at me and they laugh and they look at me and say, you have never killed anybody in your life. I have never killed. He said, you have never killed anybody. I said, and then he said to me all the abortions you were doing were you killing animals or you were killing innocent babies human beings then I started crying I said my own husband all my life was rubbish now I know all my years spent on earth was useless now. I claim to love God but my life was useless I never know sin was following me up and down like this I'm busy singing in a church I never know I was smelling in sin nothing good was coming out of my life everything about my living they come Condemned. I started crying. I started crying. I cried. I said, My own spirit. Why did I live this kind of life? What is the benefit of my life? Oh God. Why I did not listen to my sister? Oh God. Why did I enter the wrong church? Why did I enter the wrong church? I am finished. I am finished. I am finished. I did not say to me. I As I was crying, I called Jesus. He said to me, Don't call that righteous man. Here. Don't call that righteous man. Here. When you were on earth, when he was telling you to give your life to him, you deaf your ears. You had your heart. You didn't do what he said he you should do. He too have choose to death his ear. He will not hear you. Don't bother wasting your time. Take a look at this ones in the fire. Turn and look at those ones in the fire. They have been here for a thousand years. They have been calling on a righteous man. He have not hear them. When you were on earth, we don't know what. he told you to surrender to him. You did not listen. You follow the world. Now you are here. He too will not hear you. My suffering starts. I started suffering. The devil touch on me. Touch on me. Touch on me. Touch on me. Because of time, I need to go higher. Touch on me. I thought my own has finished. I look at myself. I say to God, you are a wicked God. God, you are wicked. You know I was an offer. Nobody to help me. God, you didn't want me. You say you will not leave us right now. Why are you doing this to me? My punishment is more than my sin. I cursed God. I was angry. After some time, I would say, God have mercy on me. I cried. I cried. I was in that torment. I was in that torment. Burning. All of a sudden, a power 
Ike, a force Ike, kere, took me from that flame bringing me out na, put me Pu, de we, de we, I landed on my leg I saw somebody um, standing in front of me wearing white oh, you watch her. looking glorious ne, uh, em, em, I look at the person we, no, nya, nya. all of us that are in this hellfire we are not wearing clothes we are dirty we are tattered we are smelling we are burnt we are rotting what is happening how this man came here and he's wearing white no stain on his body he look at me in a pitiful look he shook his head he turned his back and he started walking as he was going he didn't open his mouth to me he did not say follow me Linda he just looked at me he shook his head and he started walking I started following him I was looking at him it's like it was like a tiny bridge on top by my right hand side my left hand side I would see the flame I would see people keep burning I would see demons chopping people like meat dealing with people I will see crying continue see some people have, as if they should tear themselves with the pain I was looking at them and I was following this man how did this man know the way out I cannot tell because hell is full of darkness the only light you see in hell is the flame and you cannot see any entrance or going in and out. So when he was following, when I was following him, this man was just passing through that road inside the darkness. But he knows his way. As he's walking, I was following him. As he's walking, I was following him. I was leaving those people behind me. But I will still see them tormenting. They are being tortured. I was, I was crying for them. As if they should look at me and follow me and run behind me. I saw them the way they have been born. I was crying looking at them. Because if your enemy, you don't want oh, to do it. See, that's a so free. Yeah. Hey, Hannah, who See, that's so free. I was looking at them. And I was following the man. I was looking at them. I was pitying them. I wish everybody would come out. Oh, now them can have surrendered for that. Then this man led me out. As soon as we came out, a heavy wind came and covered us and started ascending with us. We started going. I was not flying. I was not ready. But I noticed I was suspended from the air. I was going with this man. He didn't say a word to me. He didn't know where we were going. He didn't say a word. And as we get inside the cloud, we go, and then we reach to a place. He started walking. I started following him. He was walking. I was admiring him. I was looking at him. I wish him to speak to me. I was looking at him. He was going gently. And then as we go to a place, in front of us, I started seeing dazzling, like glittering things. A far away, I look at the place. Very attractive. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I've never seen beauty like this. America is not beautiful. America Europe is not beautiful. I've not even seen a place like that. The atmosphere. The color. The door, the gate. The, 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 
the texture, the everything. That my eyes were seeing. I was just looking. Far off. I was looking. I forgot about the person carrying me. I was wishing to enter this place. I've never seen beauty like this. I cannot describe the kind of materials they build that place. Because I don't know the kind of precious stones we have on art that is like that. I look at that place. I say, wow. There is a beautiful in the far away land where the scent of God are gathering. Yeah, the sweet melody they are singing unto Jehovah. They are giving praises forevermore. Hey, there is a beautiful oh, in a faraway land where the saints of God are gathering. Yeah, the sweet melody they are singing unto Jesus Christ. They are giving praise forevermore. I want to tell you heaven is beautiful. You cannot anything suffering you can undergo to go to heaven. Please undergo it. If it's because of holiness your entire family abandon you, agree. Even if they cast you out of the family, say you are holy, holy, go. Heaven. 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 Is beautiful. People are killing themselves to go to America. Go to Europe. And you cannot compare only the gate of heaven with any part of this world. Please die to go to heaven. Suffer for heaven. Do all. Obey. And go to heaven. As we get close. The gate of heaven was changing its beauty. You can describe a gate and say a black gate when you go there, that's my house and that gate can be there for years and they're black. You cannot tell somebody the gate of heaven is like this. When you go there, there is the gate of because it changed in the twinkle of an eye. That few minutes or hours I stood there, the gate was changing different beauty, different precious stone, different design. The only the gate you are busy looking, you will not get tired. You'll be a, you'll be like, wow, oh, wow, like da. that. No, Jim Noro, Maya, Hey, hey, And then I saw light coming from that city in coming to me. When they were coming, it's like the moon is running to me. I was looking at them. When the light come close, I noticed they were an angel. It was their face that was shining. I thought it's light flying. The face was so shiny. And then they came down their legs. And I, the first thing that came to my mind, they have told us that angels have wings. And I look for the wings. And I saw them flapping their wings. And I noticed they still have two hands. And then when they landed on their legs, with a fine, beautiful smile, the smile to me, I know it's not a hypocritical smile. Everything in heaven is real. Not this smile of Af we we human beings will smile. We don't we, you know, you know this person's smile is not genuine. The smile of the angels to, towards me. I feel 
peace until when they get close to me up to today maybe God will tell me one day how I was transformed I cannot tell they didn't say remove they did not say put your leg they did not say come put this on your head put your hand the smile they give me and the touch they touch me, touch me it's like I slept for a second and, and then, then I saw myself well dressed and look at myself wow hey. they get hope when, when they get hope a light shone from that place hit me on my face bring me down on my knee I tried to look through that light the light was very powerful even when I want to block it it will make my hand to be transparent I was not able to block the light I tried a voice spoke through that light welcome my daughter Linda. No, I'm Linda. And then earthquake. Allah, where am I? Was shaking. Now, I'm a The ground was shaking. Allah, now, I'm a Then I said, Where is Who owns this voice? What is who's, who's speaking to me? I try to look through the light to see who is the person. My eye cannot be open. My eye cannot open. It's like if I try to open my eyes to the light, it's like they are using eye or spanner to remove my eyes. It was very powerful. That is the light that shone upon Saul and got him blind. You cannot stand the presence of God. And then as I keep on struggling, when I try again to remove my eye, I noticed somebody was blocking the light for me. But I was kneeling down. So I noticed somebody was standing in front of me. When I opened my eyes, I saw somebody standing with his two feet and I saw some mark on his feet like a wound mark then I started glancing when I was glancing at the person the gown was producing light on its own the body of that person is different from the one I saw in hell. And as I was starting looking at the person, as I get closer to his face, the face was bringing out light from everywhere. The face was bringing out light. And then he smiled to me. The teeth everything is perfect. There is no mistake on our Savior. You cannot criticize anything on his body. Because you will see perfection in hundred, hundred, hundred percent. I look at his eyes mixed with lightning and fire. I look at his ear. The air was bringing out light as if the plant bob inside his hair. Very white. The thing was so white like eyes. He did his hand to me like this. I notice he want to raise me up. I carry my hand. I put it on his palm. And he carry his big tongue. And press my hand like this. Before he raise me up. With a smile. He look at me and say this word to me. I am Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am Jesus, your Lord. And then he raised me up. And then I stood. I look at him. He was happy. He was happy with me. I look at myself. Am I, am I dreaming? Is it Jesus I'm seeing? Who am I? I'm not a pastor, daughter. I'm not a pastor. Who am I? Why Jesus did say this to me? I look at myself. Am I seeing reality? 
What so is happening to me? What is going on with me? Do you notice I was so full of world with oh, surprise? And then he stretched his hand on my back. Oh, and then he said to me, oh, my daughter, Adam. welcome to my kingdom. No, 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 no. And then I enter. Where, but, uh, Immediately I enter. No, when no, no. I was in hell, no, 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 I thought no, no. nobody had gone to heaven. I thought people are not going to heaven. Because the crowd of people I saw in hell. But when I enter heaven, my eyes cannot see the end of it. I see different mansions and shapes. I saw different atmosphere, different places. I saw saints in happy mood. I wish to be among them. Nobody is in heaven is missing the earth. I saw joy, everlasting laughter on their face. I look at them. The fews, the few one I can see. I saw angels flying everywhere. I saw display of power. The weather in heaven. It is not cold, it is not hot. So I believe there will be no complaint. To say, oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's too cold. The weather is just perfect. I was enjoying everything I saw. Then I look. I notice there is no moon. There is no sun. There is no star. There is brightening heaven. But I saw the light. Suspended heaven a little. There was a light coming from that place. There was displaying brightening everywhere. I was looking. The place is mixed with dew. Mixing with, with lightning. You will know power is from that place. I keep on looking. I was trying to look, but I cannot penetrate to the cloud. Then Jesus put his hand on my shoulder and he said to me, that is the throne of my father. And then I said, wow. So the throne of God is the one bright in heaven. Then Jesus said to me, let us go. He started walking with me. As we reached to a place, I saw a woman sitting in the midst of plenty of children. Beautiful children. Countless number of them. And the woman was talking. But I was far away. I cannot hear her. But the children were paying attention. Angels were around that place. The woman was speaking. The children were happy. And then Jesus said to me, Do you know these children? I said, No, Lord. He said, These are the children that you people are committing abortion on. These are the children. And then do you know the woman sitting in the midst of them? I say no Lord. He said this is Mary. I am sending you back to the world. I am sending you to the Catholic. You have seen Mary for yourself. Mary don't know what is happening on earth. Satan have deceived my children in Catholic church. Catholic. Go and tell them anyone praying to Mary bowing to the image of Mary they will be charged as idol worship. They will go to hell. Tell them no saint in, no saint in heaven have the power or the right to pray for any soul on earth to come to heaven. No Saint is the intercessor for any soul on earth to come to heaven. I am the only way. I am the way. I am the only way. The only intercessor for mankind to come to heaven. All knee must channel, must bow to me. I am the only one that have the key of hell. 
man of heaven. I am the I only one be. that can bring any soul o from earth to, to heaven. So everybody that, that wants to come to heaven must pray to me, be must be believe in me, be and must bow to me. Yeah, be Anyone be that put your faith be on be any saint that have died, that person be is be an idol worshiper. I am sending you to the Catholic. Tell them none of them in that practice we see my face. And then Jesus said to me, Jesus my church is dirty. My church is dirty. Three times. And then he said to me, I am sending you back to the world. That, that world struck my heart. What am I coming to do here again? And then Jesus looked at me. Jesus, I didn't say it in my mouth. I just feel sad. And then Jesus said, Jesus I hate selfish people. I hate selfish people. You don't deserve to be here. All your life you spent on earth, you were working with the devil. You were like the father, your father, the devil. I was just surprised. All my years on, in the church, all my titan offering, all my singing and praising God, all the vision, the prophecy passed were giving me. Jesus said I was not in his side. Jesus, then I now see the big deception going on in the world. And Jesus said to me, Jesus, you were a prostitute in my side. Then I said, Lord, I was not a prostitute. Because we on earth, Prostitute, somebody that stands on the highway, man, a man will pick you and sleep with you and give you money. I say, No, I was not a prostitute. And then he looked at me and said, You people on earth only call those who are standing on the highway prostitutes. Yes, they are prostitutes. But let me expand prostitute in my eyes. In the eyes of God. Anyone that is not married legally that is committing sex doing sex and you are not married legally you have been charged as a fornicator they are prostitutes in my eyes. Any married man that have married legally left his wife and be sleeping with another woman a prostitute in and he will die and go to hell. Any woman that have married legally and left the husband is sleeping with another man secretly. Tell that woman she's a allot before my eyes. And if he die without repenting, she will go to hell. All those that have married and they divorce and their wife is still alive and their first husband is still alive but they separated and remarried. Those people that have remarried to them when they left their first wife and their first husband is still alive, if they die in that second marriage, tell them they are prostitutes in my house. I kept quiet. You can judge for yourself. How many virgins do we have in the church today? How many girls sleeping up and down with men that and they are not even married but they are busy sleeping? How many youths, they are not married, having how many girlfriends up and down, but they are singing in the church? How many married men, having girlfriends, pregnant girls, up and in fact, remarried up and down, pastors, bishops, having girls, but they still say they preach the gospel? How many of them, you can see how many will go to heaven? How many have divorced? Oh, I don't want my wife again. I don't want my husband. I remarried. And the first wife is still alive somewhere. The first husband is still alive. And they say, no, we are separated. My bishop says to separate. God say you are a proxy. You are a lot. My time is up. 
I'm reading that what Jesus said. Jesus said, go and warn them because the shepherds, many of them, has failed me. The fake shepherds have overshadowed the righteous ones. Go and tell them all those that are in the church thinking they are coming to heaven and they are living in sin. They have turned my house into a nightclub. My house where my children should go and be solemn and repent to me. But today, the pastors have turned my church into disco, into dancing. Sinners go to the church from Monday to Sunday, from January to December without repenting. They are happy. But tell them they are mocking themselves. All those that are liars. You have anger. You are a fornicator. You are adulterer. You are practicing witchcraft. You are doing juju. You are a smoker. You are a drugs addict. You are selling it. All this seductive dressing. Jesus called this thing the dressing of the alot. Jesus All this accosting you put on your body. The earring. The chain. The false nails. The attachment. The false eyelash. Bleaching. All the thing that you call decoration. Naked dressing. That will still lost. Jesus said, go and tell them, any one of them that die in the attire of your Lord, be a prophet, a bishop, or an evangelist, or whosoever you are, you have built how many churches, you will never come to heaven. God say, if you want to see me, Jesus say, I am not a naked God. I am a decent God. Nothing artificial is on my body. I make you out of my likeness. Why are you putting artificial on your body? And say that is the thing that is making you beautiful. You are insulting my handmaid. Jesus say, Jesus, you will suffer for that. For dirty in the temple of God. Jesus talk about wedding ring. Jesus said time will come when my children will know that dwelling is a sin. And those that believe in me will strip off their self from their dwelling. But Satan will deceive them that wedding ring is not a dwelling. Tell them wedding ring is part of dwelling. And secondly, the pastors they will come and tell me which scripture did I command? They give it to them to join two with ring. Many have put their faith on the ring. That believe is the ring that join them together, husband and wife. So when the wife removed the ring and say, I'm, I don't want this married again, the husband believed married are separated. And everybody will go their separate path. They are sinning against my wall. They are sinning against my wall. I say, what I have joined together, let no man put us under. Ring cannot put us under. Till you die before a son that come between your husband and wife. Many women believe it's the ring that will make their husband to be faithful. Many men believe the wife, the, the wife putting on the ring will make men not to chase their wife. Tell them that is deception of the devil. That ring is the demon in your family. Tell the wives what they should pray for their husband. Is for their husband to know my word. I have commanded all husbands in the world that they should love their wives. 
cherish their wives. They should not be wicked to their wives. They should not cheat on their wives. No other woman to see their nakedness. So when your husband know my word, without the ring, he can never cheat on you. He will never beat you. He will never treat you wickedly. He will show you love. Likewise, the same way to the wife. Tell the husband, it is not the ring that will chase men away from their wives. Or make the wife to submit to them. I have commanded wives in the world. Any woman that know my word, I've told the wives to submit to their husband, to respect their husband, to treasure their husband, to reference their husband. So anywhere your wife is, without ring, she will not sleep with another man. She will not cheat on you. She will not disrespect you. She will honor you. She will respect you. So it is not the ring that will bring faithfulness in the home. It is my word. So tell them they should give their life to me. They should believe my word. And they will have the perfect marriage. A perfect marriage that everybody will wish to have. And we end here by tight giving. Jesus said, one those that are not paying tight. Heaven you will not see. You are a hand robber. You are stealing from God Almighty. And those that are paying tight with dirty money. When, when Jesus said this, Jesus I thought it is all this dirty squeeze money he's talking about. Jesus look at me and say, Jesus, I am a holy God. Nothing sin or darkness is in me. My hand is not shut to bless any one of them that ask me. All of them that are having money in the dirty way. You that you are worshipping Marine to get money. You that you are doing 419 business. You that you are doing kidnapping business. You that you are doing child trafficking, selling human parts. You that you are prostituting your body. You that you are taking bribe. You that you are doing wicked thing to get money. You that you are doing corrupt full act in your office anywhere you are. You that you are stealing from your husband. You bring it to the church and say, God, this is what I have. Jesus, I should tell you, any money you are bringing to the house of God, that you got it in a dirty way, you got it in a cheque cheque way, it says only your pastor that is eating your money. You will not have any reward for it because he's not a dirty girl. So today let's stand on our feet. Now you have heard what Jesus said. You are a liar. You are a fornicator. You are an adulterer. You are a smoker. Maybe you go to shrine, you still believe in juju. Or you are doing one thing or the other. You are a prostitute. Jesus talked about all these things we are doing in the church. Anointing oil, water, ban, apron. He said, I am not the God behind those things. Jesus said, I am not the God behind those things. I am not the God behind all those things they give for science and wonders. It is, it is witchcraft practice in the church. I say prayer is the key. Whatever you are looking for, pray to me, I will give you. You don't need to carry apron or soak it in water and drink for miracle. I will heal you when you pray. You don't need to drink water to heal. When Jesus say all these things, and I say to Jesus, who will believe me? You are sending me back to the world. Who believe me? I know how women like attachment. Pastors, they love this worldliness. Jesus, they will not believe me. Jesus, they will kill me. God, don't send me back. And Jesus said to me, I am sending you because many of my children are sleeping. I have established a movement on earth. This movement 
is my movement to revive my holiness among my children because the shepherd majority of them have failed me. Denomination has failed me. I have taken my work back in my hand to, to save my children. I am sending you to my movement and the movement is me. Jesus gave me the name in heaven. He told me the name and the meaning. He said, Holiness Revival Movement is me. Oh, see, Holiness Revival Movement to boom. He said, Holiness is my other name. Bo, oh, I am uh, a holy God. Uh, Revival. Uh, God reviving his children. Movement. I am moving with them to heaven. So I am I am I have established my movement. When you go, you join them. The man that I put to represent me in that movement is my son. Whatever he is preaching, whatever he will be preaching to you, my daughter believe. Where? practice it no, and do it Maya. you will just be waiting for heaven he the messages that Satan have removed from the mouth of many pastors the message that will save every soul in the world that is the message I have brought back into his mouth I have give him my word like John the Baptist it is the Moses of this entire go and listen to him if you go back and play with your life this time when I drop you in hell I will not show you mercy. And then the Lord said, go back. And then I came with angel. I revived in my body. My parlor was full. Tears everywhere, my uncles, my aunties. Finda have her own story. That my body spoke to them and Jesus said, don't be peaceful. Linda will come back. I'm giving her a message for the world. So people were waiting for me. Let's see how she will come back. And I came back. And as I came back, I asked for holiness of our movement. Because I want to join God's people. Jesus told me my time is sooner than the world is expecting. And he said, I should go and work out my salvation. So I want to join them to hear this man of God. Because I don't want to go to hell again. And I have my encounter on Friday. Saturday we located the, the chapter Saturday, I, were chapter. I joined them and I was baptized on Sunday and this Sunday. is the movement I am in now when, when I started hearing that the Rika preaching I've never heard about restitution in my whole life sanctification many things I'm hearing today I am crying for my people because many churches don't teach me so you are lucky we are here today to tell you what Jesus said you are what you have heard today if you believe it surrender to Jesus practice the holiness you are better than the millions of richest men and women in, in, in the town many will not go to heaven but you in this corner of this village we make it to heaven so today you know yourself you have heard from my testimony you can listen to it on the youtube the full testimony what jesus said about other churches but this is what i'm saying to you if you know the lord call you home now you have been a christian for more than 15 20 30 years but you know sin is in your life. You know yourself, the Holy Spirit is convicted that you are not righteous. In fact, many of you are so afraid of death because you know that if I die, I don't know where I will go. 
you have heard today that all these things men and women put on their body for beauty is satanic, is demonized. Thank God you didn't die. But Jesus said to me, anywhere you go, I will be there to show mercy. I want to gather the few that will pass through the narrow way. I am here today to call you to Jesus. And Jesus is here today. He's here to write your name. He said, I will give you mercy. No matter how all kind of sin you have committed, I am here to show you mercy. If you are there, you want the Lord to show you mercy. Raise up your hand. You want to give your life back to Jesus. Or you have never given your life to Jesus. You want to start going to church again. You want to serve Jesus. Please quickly just come in front. Don't mind the rain. This is showers of blessing. As you raise up your hand, please come in front quickly. Come in front quickly. You that have sin in your life. You are a witch. You are a wizard. You are a gossiper. You have anger. You are masturbating. You are watching pornography. You are committing one sin or the other. You are your wife. You are not in good times. You are a bitter. You are a fighter. You, you know what you are doing. Don't be ashamed. Don't say I'm the elder in the church. Don't say I'm a reverend, I'm a pastor. Please, you don't know when you will die. Come and meet Jesus. He said, if you are ashamed of me today, me too will be ashamed of you before my father. Come and let the whole village know today you have decided to follow Jesus. Today, your story has changed from a troublesome boy to a godly boy. From a troublesome man to a godly man. From a troublesome woman to a godly woman. Jesus wants to change you. Maybe Jesus is coming tonight. Jesus has not been or this year. You that you are coming now. You will accept him. You will make it. Please come in front. As you are coming, confess your sin. Close your eyes and confess your sin. Stubbornness, children, you are disobedient to your parents. Ask God for mercy. Confess your sin. Wives, you are not submitting to your husband. Come and confess your life. Say, Jesus, change my life. Jesus, give me obedience to it. Come and confess. You are a pastor, you are a preacher, you have not been preaching holiness. You have deceived many already. Come and tell God to show you mercy. That from today, you will be preaching the truth. They like it or not. You will be preaching the truth. Ask God for mercy. Tell the Lord show me mercy. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. You that you have not joined Hori Mo, Holiness Viva Movement, please join this movement. You will testify what I'm saying. You will be thanking God for this movement. Because they will really teach you the truth. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. I thank you for today. I have heard your word. Your word is true. I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. I come to you, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins. Cancel my name in the book of hell. Write my name in the book of life. I promise from today to live for you for the rest of my life in holiness, in righteousness. Give me the grace to serve you in holiness and righteousness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for forgiving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for accepting me. In Jesus' name we pray.